great things never come from your comfort zones so as your exams are fast approaching push yourselves out of your limits push yourselves out of your comfort zones and work towards your goal because these exams are really important yes and in all your efforts your math facilitator divya is with you as we are doing the fast track series of ssc 2020 where we are discussing chapter wise important questions previous year questions along with the concept and formula so don't miss out any video this is part 5 of the series if you have not watched the previous parts then do go and watch because one video contains one particular chapter and if you miss one chapter then you are going to lose around 5 to 6 marks so don't lose your max go and watch a video and within a span of 30 to 40 minutes you'll get a complete quick revision of that entire chapter so now let us quickly start the session so in today's video we are going to deal with chapter 5 quadratic equations now our first question for today is find the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 okay this question was given in 2019 and is a one marker now how do we find the roots of it now see you will multiply the x square coefficient and the constant term okay here the x square coefficient is nothing but 1 okay and in 2 the constant term is minus 3 so the answer is minus 3 you split the middle term so that the sum should be minus 3 okay so how do you split it now you see 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 yes so 3 minus 1 is 2 and you see that 3 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 3 so x square plus 3x so you will split it as 3x minus 1x is nothing but x minus 3 equal to 0 okay in these two terms you can take x as common so taking x common it is nothing but so 1x will be remaining here in x square plus 3 will be remaining okay and here out of these two terms you can take minus 1 as common okay when you take minus 1 as common you will get x plus 3 okay so just check again minus 1 into x is minus x minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 clear so now in these two terms again you can take x plus 3 as common so taking x plus 3 as common so what is remaining in this term after taking x plus 3 it is x okay and here in this term after removing x plus 3 it is minus 1 okay now how do you get the roots you will equate each of these terms to 0 so x plus 3 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0 okay so x is equal to plus 3 sending it to the other side is minus 3 okay and here x equal to minus 1 when it goes to the other side it is plus 1 so x equal to minus 3 and x equal to 1 are the roots of this particular equation so moving on to our next question you have to find the sum and product of the roots of this particular equation okay and it is given in 2018 and it is a one marker okay you know the relation between the roots and the coefficients of the equation yes what is it now suppose if ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic equation okay then the sum of the roots suppose alpha beta are the roots then sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a okay and product of the roots is nothing but c by a now using this let us find the sum of the roots alpha plus beta suppose alpha plus beta are the roots of this equation also now how do we find the sum of the roots it is nothing but minus b by a yes now what is a in this equation from this equation a is 1 b is minus 4 root 3 okay comparing these two the standard form and the given equation now c is 9 clear so now minus b by a is alpha plus beta sum of the roots so minus of b is nothing but minus 4 root 3 by a is 1 okay so it is nothing but minus into minus is plus 4 root 3 so the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is 4 root 3 clear now the product of the roots alpha beta is c by a as we know what is c it is 9 by a is 1 so alpha beta is 9 okay so sum of roots is 4 root 3 product of roots is 9 moving on to our next question this is given in 2018 and it is a 2 marker okay and you have to find the value of k when the roots are equal so when the roots are equal you have a condition that the discriminant is 0 yes discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4ac is 
0 okay now comparing this equation with the standard form standard form is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 this is the standard form okay comparing this equation the given equation with standard form now what are the values of a b and c a is nothing but k yes b is minus 2k b is minus 2k okay and c is 6 clear so now substituting the values here in this discriminant what do we get b square is minus 2k whole square minus 4 into a is k and c is 6 this should be equal to 0 because the equation has a equal roots okay so now minus 2k whole square is nothing but 4k square minus 4 6 24k is equal to 0 now taking k as common what do you get so 4k minus 24 equal to 0 clear so it is either k equal to 0 or 4k minus 24 equal to 0 clear so 4k is equal to 24 and k is equal to 24 divided by 4 which is nothing but 6 so k can be either 0 or k can be 6 okay but if k is 0 then this equation reduces okay if k is 0 then this equation re reduces into constant okay that means this term becomes 0 and this term becomes 0 and you have only 6 so k cannot be equal to 0 so the other value is 6 so k is 6 now the next question is you have to find the quadratic equation whose roots are given okay so i have taken the root 2 plus root 3 as alpha and 2 minus root 3 as beta okay and this question is given in 2019 as a to mark it. clear so now what do we do when you want the quadratic equation when the roots are given to you then the simple formula is you get it by x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots equal to zero clear so x square minus what are the sum of the roots let us do it here so alpha plus beta is nothing but 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 so it is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus root 3 minus root 3 gets cancelled so sum of the roots is 4 now product of the roots is nothing but 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 okay so it is in the form a plus b into a minus b so you can write as a square minus b square so it is 2 square minus root 3 whole square okay so 2 square is 4 minus root 3 whole square is nothing but 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so sum of the roots is 4 and product is 1 now just substituting here now x square minus sum sum is 4 into x plus product is 1 so this is the required quadratic equation very simple you have to just remember this now moving on to the four marker question which is given in 2019 okay the sum of the areas of squares is given as 850 meter square and difference of the perimeter of those two squares is given as 40 meter okay you have to find the sides of the square now area of the square is given by the formula side square yes side into side now let me take the side as x1 x1 square plus let the area of other square be x2 so x2 square is nothing but 850 which is given okay and they also gave that the difference of perimeter is 40 meters which is nothing but the perimeter formula is 4 into s 4 into side so here side is x1 4 into x1 minus 4 into x2 since it is difference is 40 meters okay taking 4 common here you get x1 minus x2 is 40 so x1 minus x2 is nothing but 40 divided by 4 yes it is nothing but 10 so 4 ones are 4 tens are so x1 minus x2 is 10 now can i write the value of x1 from this x1 is nothing but 10 minus x2 sending it to the other side is plus x2 so 10 plus x2 so x1 is 10 plus x2 now substitute this value here so what do you get so 
in place of x1 you substitute x2 so 10 plus x2 whole square plus x2 square is 850 okay so now expanding this 10 square plus x2 square plus 2 into 10 into x2 what did i do it is in the form of a plus b whole square so it is a square plus b square plus 2 a b okay plus x2 square is 850 okay so 10 square is nothing but 100 plus x2 square plus x2 square is 2 x2 square plus 2 into 10 is 20 x2 is 850 okay now 2 x2 square plus 20 x2 sending 100 to the other side it is 850 minus 100 okay so 2x2 square plus 20x2 is 750. Clear? Now taking 2 as common, 2x2 square plus, if I take 2 as common here, what remains is 10. Yes, x2 is equal to 750. So x2 square plus 10x2 is equal to 750 divided by 2. Okay? So, x2 square plus 10x2 is equal to 2 ones are, 2 threes are 6, 1 remains. So, it is 15 now. So, 2 sevens are 14 and again 1 remains. So, it is 10 now. So, 2 fives are 10. Okay. So, it is 375. Now, x2 square plus 10x2 minus 375 equal to 0. Now you have to solve this equation to get the value of x2. So how do you do it? We can use the standard form. So here a is 1, b is 10 and c is minus 375. Clear? Now how do you get the roots of this equation? You can use the formula minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Yes, you have all the values a, b and c just substituting minus b minus base minus 10 plus or minus under root b square is 10 square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 375 by whole divided by 2 into a is 1 okay so minus 10 plus or minus under root 100 minus into minus is plus so 4 into 375 is nothing but 1500 whole divided by 2. So, okay, 2 into 1 is 2. Is equal to minus 10 plus or minus under root 100 plus 1500 is 1600 divided by 2. Okay, you know that 4 square is 16. Yes, so 40 square is 1600. By that, let us write the next step. Minus 10 plus or minus. So, this will be 40 square. So, 40 square and the square root gets cancelled and you will get 40 as the answer. Okay, now, now again, minus 10 plus or minus 40 by 2. So, there are two values again, minus 10 plus 40 by 2 and minus 10 minus 40 by 2. Okay, plus or minus, you will take both the values. Okay, so minus 10 plus 40 is nothing but 30 by 2, which is nothing but 15. Okay, and here minus 10 minus 40 is minus 50 by 2, which is nothing but minus 25 okay now we are finding the value of side of a square yes so side of a square can never be negative it is length length can never be negative it should have some value so 15 is the correct answer clear so now we got the value of x2 as 15 yes that is nothing but side of one square okay now substituting x2 as 15 in this equation what do we get x1 is equal to 10 plus x2 so x2 is 15 that means it is 10 plus 15 so x1 is nothing but 25 yes so the sides of squares are 15 and 25 it is a four marker all you need to do is write the equations properly okay then substitute the equations properly and be careful when you are calculating and moving on to our next four marker question 
द हाइट ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल इज सेवन लेस दैन इट्स बेस and the area of the triangle is 9 cm square so you have to find the height and the base okay so how do we do it so we know that the formula for area of a triangle is half base into height yes and here in this case the height is 7 less than the base so if you take base as b so let base is b so what is height height is 7 less than base which means it is b minus 7 okay now substituting these values here in the formula so area of a triangle is 9 cm square it is given in the question in half into base into and it is b minus 7 height is b minus 7 so sending 2 to the other side 9 into 2 is equal to b into b minus 7 Okay, nine two is a eighteen is equal to b to b is b square minus b into seven is seven b. Okay, now b square minus seven b minus eighteen equal to zero, bringing all the terms to one side. Yes, so now you you have to find the roots for this equation. Nothing but you have to find the value of b. So how do you do it? Now, as I said, you will multiply the x square coefficient and the constant term. Okay, here it is b square. So you will multiply the b square coefficient and the constant term. B square coefficient is one into constant term is minus eighteen. Okay, so the product is minus eighteen. Now you have to split this middle term in such a way that the sum of those two terms will be minus eighteen. Okay, now what are the factors of eighteen? It is nine into two. Now can you write seven? Seven as the sum of nine and two. Yes, we can. Yes, how do you write it? You can write as nine minus two. Yes, nine minus two is seven. But here we have minus seven. That means the bigger number should have a minus sign. So you'll write as minus nine plus two. Yes. So by that you'll get as minus seven. So now let us do it here. So b square minus nine b plus two b minus eighteen equal to Zero. Okay. So in these two terms, I can take b as common. So taking b as common here, you will be left out with another b minus. You will be left out with nine. Okay. Plus here you can take two as common because nine two is eighteen. So here you will have only b minus, and here you will have nine is equal to zero. Now in these two terms again you can take b minus nine as common. So b minus nine, if you take it as common, then the remaining term here it is b, and here it is plus two. Okay. Now what do we do? Now equate both the terms to zero. So b minus nine equal to zero, which means b is equal to nine. Okay. And b plus two equal to zero, which means b is equal to minus two. Now. We are finding the base. Base of a triangle can never be negative, so we will not consider b equal to minus two. So the answer is b is equal to nine. Now substituting b is equal to nine here, so height is equal to b minus seven, which is nothing but nine minus seven, so it is two centimeters. Okay, you got the base as nine centimeters and height as two centimeters. Now it's your turn to do the DIY. The sum of the squares of two consecutive even numbers is 5 ADS. So let the even numbers be 2x and 2x plus 2. Okay. The sum of the squares of it is 5 AD. So solving this, you will get the numbers. Those are all the important previous year questions which we have discussed. Now looking back into the important concepts of the chapter. So if a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero is a quadratic equation, how can you get the roots of the equation? You can get it by this formula: minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Substituting the values of a, b, c in this, you will get the roots of the equation. Clear? So now this part, this part is called discriminant. Okay? Now if this discriminant is greater than zero, which means that the equation has two real roots. Clear? And if this discriminant is equal to zero, that means the roots are equal. There are two roots which are equal. And if this discriminant is less than zero, that means there are no real roots for this. quadratic equation so 
basing on this you may get a one mark or a two mark a question and solving the equation you will get it for four marks this brings us to the end of this video and if you felt this video is useful for you then do subscribe to this channel so that you'll get notified whenever we upload a new video and don't forget to like and share this videos your likes and shares gives me motivation to do better thanks for watching